Now we'll take a look at a left outer join. And when we look at this, a lot of people, well, a lot of the time you get confused as to what left means. And then we're going to take a look at a right outer join. So what, what this means is, and, and the only thing I've changed in here is I've, in this query between this one and the previous one is I changed the word inner to simply be left outer and it's joining the same tables. And what it's going to do is it's going to return all the rows from table one. And if there's a match in table two, you will get the match. Otherwise, the table two columns will be shown as nulls. So for instance, in the example we looked at a minute ago, there were two people, Johnny and Karen, who did not have a favorite color and they got left out when we did the inner join. But when we do this uh, with the left outer join, they get included. And we'll take a look at that in the code right now. So all I did was change the word inner uh, from the above query to just say left outer join. And you can see that the first batch of rows that we got back in the result set here, the ones I've just highlighted, are the exact same thing that we saw when we did the inner join. But the two at the bottom, Johnny and Karen, who were missed on the inner join query, got included because of the use of the left outer join. And with that, because there's nothing they matched in the favorite colors table, the columns that come back from the favorite colors table just get simply put in there as null. That can be handy, for instance, if you had a list of employees, which then that's what this was, and you were going to print up like company shirts and you wanted to get their favorite color on their company shirt, you could run a query and maybe the answer was if somebody doesn't have a favorite color, they get a green shirt. In that case, if you did an inner join, you would have missed Johnny and Karen and they wouldn't have got their t-shirts printed this way, where if you do the left outer join, you can include those people even though they don't have a favorite color. And I've seen so many times where uh, somebody will have a set of data they do an inner join and then they wonder where are all these other people or why are these people missing? Well, it's because they did an inner join to something that was an optional table or optional field and they got dumped out of the result set where the left outer join would allow them to be included. Also, uh, just a reminder, you can download the join types poster at stevesedman.com. And this is a poster I created a few years ago that just sort of shows how all the different joins that we're going to be covering through this presentation are done. Uh, it's handy to print out and keep on your cube wall. Or... Hi, this is Steve Stedman, and I just want to let you know the video that you've just finished watching is uh, part of what's offered in my T-SQL Join Types course. It's available for a low price of $29.99. And with this, we're going to cover everything from basic select, inner join, left outer join, right outer join, semi join, anti semi join left outer join with exclusion, right outer join with exclusion, full outer join, cross join, cross apply, outer apply, and many more. To use this class, all you really need is access to a Microsoft SQL Server. You can download SQL Server Express, that's plenty for using the class, and SQL Server Management Studio. Here's the curriculum. We've got quite a bit of detail that goes through all the different types of joins, including demo and lecture sample codes and then some assignments you can take and run with to, to figure out how to do it for yourself. This is one of the more popular classes that uh, we offer from Stedman Solutions so I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, to find out more about this class you can go to stedman.us slash joins. Look forward to seeing you in this class. Have a great day. Thanks for watching our video. I'm Steve and I hope you've enjoyed this. Please click the thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want more information, more videos like this, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of future videos that we create.